thank you very much for the support and recognition that you have shown to me by selecting me as the American Board Teacher of the Year. I am thrilled to have the opportunity to bring attention to this alternative pathway to becoming a teacher. My journey toward becoming a teacher started many years ago. My family prized education. My grandfather, a doctor and a World War II veteran, made sure that all four of his daughters attended college in the 1960s and 70s, which wasn't something that was necessarily stressed in the South at that time. Likewise, my mother, a young divorcee at the age of 29, always instilled in us the great value of an education. One of the reasons that she was able to raise us on her own was because she had a degree in nursing. Growing up with that high respect for education, I always strove to excel in school. I was one of eight students awarded a scholarship to prestigious St. Mary's Dominican High School in New Orleans, and it was there that I first fell in love with math. I had some outstanding teachers. Mrs. Debbie Lawrence taught me algebra and encouraged me to participate on the math team in competition. Our team of four high school girls once beat a boys team, and it was at that moment that I realized math could really take me anywhere. Sister Denise, a Dominican nun with a fiery personality and a passion for math, taught me calculus. I can remember it feeling as if we were the only two in the classroom, and even though that was 20 years ago, I can still remember specific lessons and even what color my notebook was. As the oldest of three children, I knew that my academic talents could greatly benefit my family if I could earn a scholarship to college, finish quickly, and become employed as soon as possible. I knew that I could be a great math teacher. I had tutored a few high school students in my local community for $7 an hour and was able to help them improve their grades. I also helped translate most of what Sister Denise said in calculus <laughs> to my friends. But teaching wasn't the only career path that I thought about. I was also interested in applying mathematics to science, and engineering had a very strong pull for me. I earned a scholarship to Auburn University in textile engineering, and I accepted it full force. I never once considered changing my major. I knew that I could do well in the field. And I also knew that I would have greater potential for earning power in engineering than in education. I am proud to say that I finished my degree at Auburn in three and three quarter years, three <laughs> months early, as the alternative outstanding graduate of the College of Engineering. My very first job as a project engineer at Mount Vernon Mills brought me to Pendleton, South Carolina. It was exciting to work in the fast-paced manufacturing world, and I led the effort to see our plant certified in ISO 9002 quality standards. We were the first plant in our company to achieve that certification. At my subsequent job at Electrolux's refrigerator plant in Anderson, I helped to improve the quality of our purchased components. It was exhilarating to work there. We were one big team working to send literally thousands of refrigerators down the line every day. Well, time passed and circumstances changed. My husband and I reached a point where we could provide for our family with only one of us working. I took the opportunity to stay home and focus on my family and to help him with his business. It was this new career as a stay-at-home mom that resurfaced my dreams of becoming a teacher. I spent lots of time at my children's schools volunteering and assisting their teachers with every, everything from copying papers, helping with classroom experiments, drilling multiplication tables, and chaperoning field trips. I contacted neighboring Clemson University about what it would take to earn my teaching certificate. While at Auburn, I had taken classes on the quarter system and Clemson was on semesters. I learned that I would have to put in two full-time years in order to earn my teaching certificate. This was not an option. A few years later, my oldest daughter's pre-calculus teacher at Pendleton High School had to take an extended medical leave. 
I contacted the principal at the time, Dr. Danny Merck, and convinced him that I would be a great long-term sub because I had math content knowledge. Much to my daughter's dismay, <laughs> I became the long-term sub. It was a crazy and wonderful eight weeks. I made many, many mistakes and have some very funny stories from that time, but I knew after that experience that teaching was what I was meant to do. I investigated the PACE program, but I was very hesitant due to the stipulation that I would have to teach full-time and take classes at the same time. I needed a vehicle to help me earn my certification without making sacrifices towards my family. Dr. Merck told me about someone in neighboring Oconee County who was pursuing certification through the American Board. I enrolled on December 31st of 2008, and Dr. Merck pushed me to complete my certification by May of 2009 so that I could apply for a position at the high school that fall. It was then that Anderson District 4 threw the doors wide open and helped me, along with the American Board, to earn my certification. For four months, I worked on the American Board's online courses every day. I read the recommended books on teaching. I watched the situational videos online. I took the practice exams on the CDs. And I took very seriously their recommendation of getting real experience in the classroom. District 4 allowed me to observe nine of their best teachers at Pendleton High School that spring. I logged in a little over 70 hours watching some of the best teachers across the curriculum at the school. In April, I took the American Board's arduous exams in math <laughs> and the principles of teaching and I passed both on the first attempt. I submitted my application. It was at this point that District 4 hired a new superintendent, Dr. DeAndre, and a new high school principal, Mrs. Gordon. For the first time, I became nervous that I would not get a position at the school. The American Board was a new program, and District 4 had never hired anyone with that certification before. Dr. DeAndre and Mrs. Gordon didn't know me, they didn't know firsthand all I had done to prepare to enter the classroom. I interviewed with Mrs. Gordon and I did my best to portray myself as a confident, caring, and prepared to teach candidate. Thankfully, I was hired. Mrs. Gordon in District 4 took a big risk on me and I am grateful. District 4, however, did not just hire me and hope for the best. I was allowed to work the first year as a part-time teacher and transition more slowly into my new career. I was also allowed to teach the subject that I loved the most, pre-calculus. Most of all, I was paired with an excellent mentor, Mrs. Hoy, and another first-year math teacher to share the experience with, just two classrooms down, Ms. Hodges. It was impossible not to thrive with all of the preparation supplied to me by the American Board and the tremendous support from District 4. Now I am one of the lucky few who work, not because I have to, but because I love my job teaching and I want to be there. When I volunteered at my children's schools in the past, I felt that I was doing my part to contribute to the community. But working as a teacher, I am able to contribute so much more effectively. I know from the experience I had with my teachers, I can make a real positive impact on the lives of the children in my community. I have the utmost respect for teachers who enter the field by traditional means. I have two daughters who have completed 12 years each in our local school system, and they have had some phenomenal teachers. I also know the importance of diversity in the classroom with their group of peers. Being exposed to different thoughts, backgrounds, and ideas stimulates their educational growth. The same is true of the school's faculty. A diverse faculty, one that is rich in both content, delivery, expertise, and real life experience, can be nothing but an asset to the educational system. I always wanted to be a teacher, 
but it took me a while to get here. After two and a half years in the classroom, I can now say, thank goodness. Thank goodness this was the path I took because it formed me into the teacher that I am today. I am the teacher who almost always has the answer to the question, Ms. Gilmer, seriously, when are we ever going to use this? <laughs> I am the teacher who is not afraid to try some crazy project with the kids because I want them to have a real life math experience. I am the teacher who understands that employers need students entering the workforce who can think on their own and not just regurgitate homework. Just two days ago, I was talking with another teacher who remarked how she almost felt guilty about her career choice, that it was almost like cheating, working in a career that was so much fun. I knew exactly what she meant. Just that day, I had taught a 90-minute lesson with my geometry class where I had each student choose a cartoon character, print it out on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, use grids and scale factors to create exact enlargements. As I looked around my classroom at the desks haphazardly thrown together so some of the students could fit their posters on the desktops, and the other students who had posters taped all over my walls and even one taped to my window. As I looked at the 20 yardsticks strewn across the room, the rulers, the crayons, and the markers, I thought, this is amazing. They're learning geometry, and I don't even think they realize it. Thank all of you so much. Thanks to the American Board for giving me the means to realize my dream. Thank you to District 4 for taking that big chance on me and getting behind me 100%. And thank you to my family for supporting me and for surviving that first year of teaching with me. I am proud to be this year's National American Board teacher. And I hope that my story will encourage others out there who've had thoughts in the backs of their minds of becoming teachers. It is possible. It can be done while working, it can be done with a family, it can be done quickly, and most of all, it is intensely rewarding. Thank you.